Good morning, Faith Lutheran. My name is Shane Saragosa. And I'm Ryan Schofield. We know it's finals week and things are getting hard, but we hope this brings you a little joy. Speaking of joy, church services are offered all around town on Christmas Eve. I go to St. Elizabeth, so let's go to Heather Borman to see what Christmas Eve services look like. That's so long. Merry Christmas, Faith Lutheran. I'm Heather, reporting for the FLNN. Christmas church services are a big part of in preparing for Jesus' birth. We went across the Las Vegas Valley to get more information on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services. Do you attend Christmas Eve church services and where? Um, I do, but I'm always out of town, so I either go with my grandparents in Idaho or Nebraska. Do you attend church service on Christmas Eve? Why or why not? I don't uh, because my family is usually too busy during that time, but if we're not, then we certainly will. I love to attend church services. It's where I get to hear the good news of the gospel, and it's where I get to receive the body and blood of Jesus and get my sins forgiven and to sing songs with a community of believers. It's a wonderful experience. It's something that Jesus wants us to do. Christmas church services are a very important part about getting ready for Jesus' birth. Faith Community is offering church services on December 24th at 10 a.m., 3.30, 5.30, 7.30, and 9.30 p.m. They are also offering services December 25th at 10 o'clock a.m. Any church across the Las Vegas Valley will welcome you to worship with them during this season. What is your favorite part about going to church on Christmas Eve? Um, just seeing everybody because it's always a bigger service and then just uh, Christmas is always such a good time of year and just remembering how Christ came down to save us. So I think they're super important because it just, the church gets to unite together as a family and you get to talk about how much, how much of an importance it is uh, to celebrate Christmas. I think that what makes Christmas really fun is all of the traditions, and so there's certain things that I really look forward to, like I love singing Silent Night, I love holding the candle, I love to receive communion, and I, I love to hear uh, the Christmas story and remember that just like Jesus was born and laid in a manger uh, that was meant to feed animals, that Jesus feeds us and gives us life, he's the bread of life, and it's this beautiful hum humility that we see in Jesus taking on flesh. Um, it's, it's one of the most important and special things that we can celebrate. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Faith Lutheran. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Heather. We know it's finals week, but there's still a lot of things going on. Let's go to Ava Bala with this week's announcements. Good luck on your last couple of finals, Faith Lutheran. Don't forget to check out the church services this Christmas season. Calvary Chapel Las Vegas, Central and Henderson, and Faith Community all have many services and would love to have you join their congregations. Underclassmen, Academy invites are coming out soon, so keep your eyes on your email if you are interested in one of our many academies. Tomorrow night at the Blaze Pizza by the school, print out the flyer and your announcements and help raise money for our 2020 grad night. Don't forget to get your service hours in over this break. And if you want to work tech or music for Charlie Brown, check your announcements or contact Mr. Elliott. Thank you all for making our 2019 broadcast so memorable. Have a very Merry Christmas, Faith Lutheran, and, a, and the crew is excited to see you in the new year. But before that new year comes, let's go look at the differences between fake and real Christmas trees. Finally, the most beautiful time of the year is here. People around the country are lighting up their Christmas tree. This is Lin Tran from the FNN, and I'm here to find out what is the best choice for Christmas tree. Fake or real Christmas tree? I use a fake Christmas tree. Uh, real. I have a fake Christmas tree at my house. I'm a real Christmas tree person. That's what I am. Why do you choose that? I choose a fake Christmas tree because I believe it helps the environment. I'm not cutting down a tree every year and I can have one tree that lasts a long time. Mm, I just love the smell of it. It makes the whole house feel piney. There have been many debates as to whether fake or real Christmas tree are better for the environment. According to the CBS News, 80% of Americans choose to put up a fake Christmas tree, and only 20% choose real one. So how many trees you guys sell a season? 
For about a season, we sell about 15,000 trees. How does the choice of Christmas tree impact the environment? Uh, I actually think the choice of uh, fake or real Christmas tree is kind of a big deal because um, I'm more of on the side of real Christmas trees because they can be sustainably farmed. They're not going to ruin the soil and depreciate the soil as much as other agricultural crops. Uh, but I also think that the waste of like if you're got a fake Christmas tree and it doesn't work out and then you get rid of it, right? And you have to buy a new one the next time or you need to get new lights or whatever thing like that or it's busted. That's more plastics and other things that don't break down as quickly as a biodegradable Christmas tree. Have you ever considered changing your choice of Christmas tree? Yes, I think I'd like to try having a real Christmas tree, but over time I think it's just much easier to maintain a fake Christmas tree. It seems like people have their own choice of Christmas tree, but in the end of the day, we all feel happy and blessed in the Christmas season. Lynn Tran from the FNN signing off. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Lynn. Those trees look awesome. For the FLNN, I'm Ava Bala, back to the desk. Thank you, Ava and Lynn. Those trees were great, and thank you for all the announcements. Speaking of nature, what about those Bellagio flowers? They look amazing each year. Let's go to Jenna with more. The Las Vegas Strip is known for extraordinary Christmas displays. Really Here at the Bellagio, all, they have one of the most innovative flower displays in the world. I'm Jenna for the FLNN, here to learn more. How often do you come to this exhibit? Um, usually at least once a year, sometimes a couple when we have friends in town. What do you think of this year's flower display? Very impressive. A lot of color, you know, a lot, a lot of movement. I like all the natural stuff they put in it. I think it's gorgeous. It is magical and it totally puts me in the Christmas spirit. How is it different from previous years? Uh, you know, they change things up, but it, every season you come is different. And obviously Christmas time is an exciting and festive time. And this year, just at least for me, I haven't been here for a few years, so it's exceptional this year. If you want to see the Bellagio display for yourself in person, it's going through January 4th, 2020. I'm Jenna for the FLNN, signing off. Thank you, Jenna. Every year, those flowers at the Bellagio look even more beautiful. That is so true, Ryan. I can't believe all the work that the people put into it. It's amazing. Thank you for joining us this week, and have a very Merry Christmas. I'm Ryan Schofield. And I'm Shane Saragosa. Your code word for this week is BREAK. God bless, bless and, and see you, you next year. year.